Hey guys. Um, today's notes, we are going to be covering intro to geometry day one. We're dealing with our vocabulary, points, lines, planes, and angles. So you guys should have grabbed this worksheet from me. Um, from here, you guys are going to copy down everything that I show you guys up in red. So I can, what can you be able to do by the end of the today? I can define and identify points, lines, and planes. So what is a point? A point represent, uh, represented by a dot has position but no size. So a point is represented by a dot has position but no size. What is a line? A line is a collection of points that extends um, indefinitely in both directions. And what is a plane? A plane is a flat surface that contains points and lines has length and width, but no depth, all right? So plane is like a piece of paper, so, uh, you know, a flat surface that contains points and lines, has length and width, but no depth. Again, if you guys needed to pause it, you guys can pause it um, before moving on. So here is a drawing of a point. And the symbol for a point, you would just write point with an A. So that's how you would write that. For a line, it would look like this. And the symbol for this, the titles you guys can use is AB with a little line. It has to have an, a line on the top with arrows going on the top. Or BA, again, it has to have the arrows on the top. Or I can write it as line with a cursive L, because this has a cursive L. For a plane, it'll look like this, normally like a little box. And I can label it as plane M, because there's a little M right here. Or I can take three points on that plane and label it A, B, C. All right, you can pause it at this point and then move on. Coplanar and collinear. The definition of coplanar is points that lie in the same plane. So that's what a coplanar is. Not complainer. Don't complain. It's coplanar. So points that lie in the same point, uh, same plane. So an example like this would be like this. So it's a line that's like this. So a flat page, flat, plate, flat page. And B and C are coplanar, meaning that they're on the same plane. They're on the same piece of paper, all right? But A is not on the same paper or the same plane. Collinear, so think of it, coplanar. Co is inside, so coplanar, go, they go together. Collinear and linear should mean that we're going to be on the same line. So points that lie on the same line are collinear. So it'll look like this. Point A and point B are collinear because they are on the same line. Which line is it? They are on line N as in Nancy. So line N. So A and B are collinear. C and D are collinear. But D and B are not collinear because they're not on the same line. Okay, you can pause it at this point. Moving on. Here is a real life example of a point. So the tip of a pencil is like a point because it is just a single position. Or, you know, a road is like a line because it extends forever. Or the top of a garage, like this specific one, would be like a plane because it is a flat surface. You can even say, you know, that the garage door would be co um, a plane because it is a flat surface. Additional vocabulary. So this vocabulary is not on the sheet that I gave you guys. Same thing with the examples. These examples, 
and the additional vocabulary should be written down on a separate sheet. So make sure that you left space to glue in that first sheet of notes, and then this will be on the next page. So a ray, a ray is a line with one endpoint and extending indefinitely in the other direction. So it has a point, it has, and then it extends the other way with an arrow at the end. For a ray, the endpoint is written first, then any other point on the ray is written next. So for instance, here is Q, R is past the endpoint. So I would write it as ray Q R with only one arrow, not two. Two means that I have a line and I do not have a line, I have an arrow, I have a ray. So an example for a ray would be a ray of sunshine, ah, hello. So here is the next page that I'm going to give you guys. So it's angles and measures. Make sure that you guys are using the correct one and not the last one. So what should you be able to do by the end of this page? I can define and identify angles. So what is an angle? An angle um, is a degree of measurement between two rays that share a common vertex. So an angle looks like this. Here is my angle. Here is one ray connected with another ray. The space between the ray and the other ray is the angle. The point where they both meet is called the vertex. And then again, this is one ray and this is another ray. So how do we name angles? So the angle can be written as B, A, C, so B, A, C, or C, A, B. The two rays are written as A, B, and A, C. A, B, and A, C. Again, you're always starting with the vertex when you're saying the rays. If you are naming angles, the vertex is going to be in the middle. So notice how A is in the middle of both of these. So make sure that the vertex is in the middle of an angle and it's the beginning of the name for a ray. So angle classifications. So think back, most of you guys should already know how to do these. Ooh, I forgot to put in the equals to 180. So between zero and 90, what kind of angle gives you that? Equals to um, um, equals to 90, which angle is that one? Between 90 and 180, think about that one. And then equals to 180. So between zero and 90 degrees, that's an acute angle. So most of you, again, most of you guys should already know these. If it's zero to 90, then it's going to be an acute angle. If it equals 90, then we have a right angle. If it's greater than 90, but less than 180, then we're gonna have an obtuse. And if it equals exactly 180 degrees, then we have a straight line. So what you, if you notice, these have like a little arrow that you're going to cut out. It's on the next page that you guys are gonna get. All you're going to do is cut out these and then glue these on top of these spots right here. Um, so if you flip um, this, you'll see this goes here, and then goes here, and then goes here, and then goes here. All right, again, this is gonna be on a separate sheet of paper. So what are two other names for angle one? So if we look at this, here is angle one. So what can I na name this? I can name it J, M, and K. Um, another way, can you guys see what the other way is? I'll give you a second. All right, it's K, M, and J. So let's see. So J, M, and K, remember M, since it's the vertex, it needs to be in the middle, so J, M and K is the first way I can do it. The other one is just flipping 
the order of the J and the K. Now, do you have to write this down? No, but this does give you a reminder of why um, I can do this. All right, try this one on your own. I'm going to count to five so that you guys can try it on your own. So what are two other names for angle K, M, L? So, um, I'll give you these hints. Now, did you guess or did you just wait? So the answer was B, K M L is one way I could do it, or L M K is another way or just labeling it as a two is another way so the answer is b and that's it that's the notes for it today if you have any questions please let me know um again this is for anyone who wants to get a head start or who was absent for today these were the notes that what we did for today all right have a good day guys take care